Hi, thank you so much for joining for this video. We are going to go over how to course copy and concourse, um, specifically how to course copy from a previous term um, to an upcoming term. So um, it's a little bit kind of counterintuitive, so I wanted to walk you through it really quick, but it is pretty easy. Um, okay, so you should be seeing my concourse login now. And so when I log in, I can see my future courses, my past courses. I know a lot of other folks are not necessarily seeing their past courses. We're getting some phone calls about that. And, and that is quite all right. And I'm going to show you why it, it really doesn't matter here for these purposes. So don't be frustrated if you can't see your past courses. Um, because let's just say, I'm going to say that, um, you know, this is my course from the last semester and this is my upcoming semester. And let's say I want to copy from this one to this one. If I click into my past course, um, you will notice when you go up here to the top that copy is not an option, right? And I know a lot of people are getting frustrated when they're clicking up here and they're not seeing copy listed in, as an option. The reason for that is because after the term ends, um, you are now, you have read only um, access to the syllabus. Um, and the reason for that is because of records retention, right? So we need to preserve that syllabus as it was presented to your class um, for that, you know, for records retention, for archiving. So that's why it's like that. Uh, this is also going to prevent you from accidentally copying over old syllabus content when you're actually meaning to copy to a new syllabus. So anyway, please don't let this infuriate you um, if you're going to an old syllabus and, and having those issues. So what you're going to do instead when it's time for you to course copy is go into your new syllabus. So, um, Dr. Lori Branham was nice enough to allow me to kind of pretend that I'm uh, an instructor for her class uh, in this upcoming semester. Um, and I'm going to go in here. So this is uh, obviously the semester starting in a few weeks. Um, I'm going to go and you can see here, I do have the option in this version to copy. So I'm going to select copy. Um, and so what I'm going to do now, you are given these three options and I'm going to do this one, copy syllabus content from another course to this course. So you're going to select this one. Um, the center one is a really great option if you are teaching like two sections of the same syllabus, um, I, I'm sorry, the same course for this upcoming term, you can use the center one. Or if you're teaching, you know, more than two sections, you may want to use this other one, copy to many. But I, anyway, I just wanted to point out that the, the reason these other two copy options are here is for that reason. If you're copying you know, from the current term to another cur course, for the current term. So anything where you're copying from a previous term, you're gonna wanna do this copy from, this very first option. So I'm gonna go here. And now I'm given the um, this option to select my search criteria. And I'm gonna hit this advanced button up here. So I have a couple of different options um, that I can use here. One uh, for the keyword, I can, um, I can just put food science, which is the, the name of Lori's course. Um, I'm going to pretend I'm going to find, you know, one of her food science courses from a previous term. I can also put the, um, you know, whatever the course name is here, however it's listed in the catalog, I can list that there as well. Um, I have a couple of other options down here. I can also put for instructor, I'm going to put Branham and uh, that's Lori's last name. That'll help me kind of narrow my search down a little bit more. And uh, the other really important one here that you'll want to take a look at is the time frame, right? So I'm going to want to look specifically at past courses. You also have the option to look at past and current courses, but for my purposes, I'm going to do past. Um, and the other thing, I'm sorry, this is happening off screen. Let me change my window size a little bit. Here we go. Um, under registration, I'm going to switch that to any. I'm doing that because um, I am not the actual instructor on these courses. So this would be a good one um, if you are copying content from one of your colleagues or something. A at any rate, it's just helps broaden the search a little bit if you change registration to any. So here we go. Um, you can see the search and concourse is not great. We picked up a whole lot of these other courses that are not food science, but I did in fact find uh, Dr. Branham's food science course from the fall semester. Um, now, if I click onto it here, 
it's going to take me to the syllabus. And again, I'm going to use this drop down and be like, there's no copy. And I might get really frustrated and angry again. Um, but don't don't let that happen. Um, so I'm just clicking on it here just to double check that this is in fact the syllabus that I wanted to copy from. OK, then I'm going to use my back button. Sorry, that's happening off screen, too. Um, when I'm here in this list, this is the one I want to copy from. I'm going to hit this the blue copy button right next to it. So this button's going to open up that syllabus so you can verify this button is the one that you will use to actually uh, do your copy, perform that copy. So from here, I'm given all of these different sections that I might um, want to copy from. So one thing that, um, oh, it's not, oh good. So we do have the institutional policies and procedures locked down now that so the, that cannot be edited so you won't see that listed here as an option to copy so um anyway so that kind of simplifies that a little bit for you and then from here you're just going to hit copy and it will do the copy for you i don't want to actually do that to Lori's course right now but hopefully you get the idea now of how that works and thank you very much if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and i will do whatever i can to help